The World Health Organization recently came out saying aspartame, the common artificial sweetener, is a possible carcinogen. We're talking about it being linked with cancer. This morning, Dr. Angela Tran is joining us this morning. Uh, this is this is a big deal, yes. right? Um, yep. For folks who maybe don't always like read the labels mm -hmm. and stuff, aspartame is found in what? Mm -hmm. So aspartame is a low calorie sweetener and it's been found in diet sodas, flavored waters, sugar-free gum, and even dairy products like yogurt. So it's been found in a lot of things over many decades so this is a really big deal that the World Health Organization released this. Can you explain that finding a little bit more? Yeah. What exactly are they saying? Yeah so they're declaring that based on their evidence it actually has a potential link to cancer, specific liver cancer. Mm -hmm. However the FDA looked at the evidence and said no this is limited and they disagreed oh, and said it actually is considered safe so it is still out there but it is can be confusing and so that's why we're here to educate the general yeah. public. So, so what, what do you do with that then when you've got two conflicting reports as a, as a person who's like, oh shoot, this isn't all the stuff that I eat, yeah. what do you do? Yeah, well the good news is, is that as a medical weight loss doctor, we have to make sure that you're just aware of the consumption. So I tell patients, look at the fine print label, look at what you are taking in on a daily basis because it can affect you metabolically as well. Sure. So it is really important to just, just watch what you're eating. Okay, so is there a sense of like, okay, if you're having this much a day, then it's mm -hmm. increasing the, the carcinogenic effect or has the FDA given any clarification on that? Very good question. So the good news is that there have been wide range of studies of all types of sure. artificial, artificial sweeteners. And currently there's no convincing evidence that any of these can cause cancer. However, you know, as again, working with patients, it can affect your gut health, mm -hmm. interfere with blood sugar control. So I really tell patients, let's start looking at more natural foods and less processed foods. So, so with the World Health Organization study then, what, what should people take away from that? You know, obviously, sugar is not the enemy. You know, artificial sweeteners do have a play a role, but it is all about consumption. Hmm. That's really where we need to educate ourselves, start looking at what we are putting in our bodies. You know, you really want to balance with lean proteins, healthy fats, exercise. Your body is really designed to take care of itself if you take care of it. And the study itself, when you said that it, the findings were limited, what does that mm -hmm. mean? Can you help it, with that? It just means there are a lot of shortcomings. They're, they're not sure if there were you know, really significant in a small study of human studies versus gotcha. animal and just, th there was just so much that weren't definitive okay. that the FDA felt comfortable to actually disagree and say it is available and um, safe for us to consume. So is this maybe an opportunity then for people to maybe take a closer look at, at the labels yes. and really be like, okay, is there a way that I can maybe limit this or balance this or replace it with something else? Yeah, so they're, they're good, healthier options. You know, you, you can switch to fresh or frozen fruit. You know, mm -hmm. agave, monk fruit is all good options. Well, even fruit, raw, yeah. yeah, even raw honey. But uh, if you want to stick to artificial sweeteners, which is not a bad choice, stevia is still one of the best out there. Okay, all right. Well, thank you for that perspective. Yes, we really appreciate you. it. It can be very confusing sometimes when you've got, you know, two conflicting things yes, on something that's sure. so common that, sure. that's just in everything. So we appreciate yes, it. Yes, thank you. Thanks so much. We'll be right back.